Hello and welcome to another edition of um, Labs and Sci Projects. Uh, again, remember to subscribe to our channel so that um, you get um, immediate alert as soon as we upload um, some new experiments on our channel. All right. Um, today we'll be doing an um, experiment on acid-based titration. Uh, which is also referred to as volumetric um, analysis okay so in today's experiment we would be titrating a weak acid uh, acetic acid commonly called uh, vinegar or also known as um, ethanoic acid with a weak base uh, ammonium hydroxide okay which is um, commonly found in some uh, cleaning uh, reagents in the house or at home all right I'm gonna set this aside so in this um, beaker here I mean in this flax we have um, ammonium hydroxide and right here I have the acetic um, acid so the apparatus we need for this experiment, I'm going purely old school, uh, 25 milliliter uh, pipette, uh, along with um, a pipette bulb filler. And then now we have our, vol um, uh, our burette, okay? Uh, the burette is typically used for regulating uh, the amount of volume you're adding or using in your um, experiment. Yes, okay? Is you ready for a... So we're going to go ahead and um, I have three uh, flux here. So we're going to go ahead and transfer uh, our acid into the three flux. And for this um, experiment we're doing, um, I usually, uh, phenolphthalein indicator is um, uh, much more advisable to use in this kind of, uh, uh, you know, strong, I mean, weak acid, weak base uh, titration. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, um, so uh, how do you work the, bulb pipette filler you insert onto this end the bulb and then push down and then you go ahead and uh, make sure that the tip is all the way to the bottom there are two there are two arrows at the top so I'm gonna pinch the top one and that would um, allow the acid to be sucked into the pipette. So let's do that. So there we go. Alright. Okay. So to release, I go ahead and another 25 ml
So I intend carrying out um, three trials of my uh, titration. So I'm going to fill up, um, I'm going to uh, have acids, 25 milliliter of acids transferred into three of my flax. So uh, here we go for the third one. So generally, the, the whole concept behind um, volumetric analysis um, experiments or titration experiments is that uh, for acid base, we just want to establish, um, you know, equimolar. We want to figure out um, the, the equimolar volumes uh, required for the acid to be completely neutralized by the base okay uh, in my next video I will be showing you um, the calculations okay so today we're just gonna be uh, looking at the whole technique uh, involved in um, titration experiments or volumetric analysis experiment. So next we're gonna uh, transfer our base. So I've decided to use, um, to titrate my base against the acid. So uh, in my hand I have um, a burette. It's a 50 milliliter uh, burette. So what I'm gonna do, um, usually it's advised, uh, it's advised that um, you kinda like rinse out this okay so to do that i'm going to use since i'm going to be putting my uh base which is ammonium hydroxide into the burette so i'm going to just put a little to rinse it out Here I have a burette clamp, so I'm going to go ahead and clamp it and just adjust this so that you can see what is going on. Move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. So um, I'm going to use a, uh, the funnel to help me in making sure that I don't spill the uh, base as I transfer it into the burette. And then when you're doing this, you want to ensure that um, your burette tap is locked so that way you don't make a mess. So next I'm going to I'm going to try and um, 